Mr. Nick Cody. <laughs> yes. Let me see. How are we all? Are we well? Great. I went to a happy funeral recently. Um, hear me out. My great grandma passed away last year at 102. It's a good innings. It's a top effort. See, nobody's sad at that. At 102, you're just happy that she wasn't a vampire. <laughs> How long has this woman roamed the earth? 102 years is a very long time. Uh, my great grandma, when she passed away, she was a great, great, great grandmother. She lived through both uh, world wars. 102, very long time. Almost as long as it takes to cancel a direct debit gym membership. <laughs> the fuck are they doing back there? It's the only thing she never got to tick off her bucket list was Lee Fernwood. Um, 102, not long enough. I'm very happy to be here in Melbourne for the Comedy Festival. I'm from Melbourne. It's my favourite time of year. I love this time of year. I don't always pick the best spots to go and do gigs. Uh, I've been to Afghanistan a couple times to do gigs for the troops. Uh, our troops, relax. Now, uh, I love it. I love it. I love going over there. I first went in 2013 and, uh, with myself and some other entertainers on a military plane between Kabul and Kandahar in Afghanistan. And the head of security took us aside and said, hey everyone, just so you know, uh, the Taliban are in the mountains of Kandahar and occasionally they fire RPGs rocket propelled grenades from the mountains onto the base that you'll be staying in tonight. Then the head of security said, no need to freak out because what we do at night time is we turn off all the lights on the base. Then he left, that was his whole plan. I was like, no, that's, that's not good enough. That's not a good enough plan. That's a terrible plan. I'm with the military. I wanna hear some military level planning. I want to hear, hey mate, there's no need to freak out. We uh, know where the Taliban are. We've got them on radar. Flank it from the left, helicopter support over the top. You relax here where it's safe. No, apparently the Australian Army's like, oh, night time? Fucking... I don't know, hide and seek? You guys want to play hide and seek against the Taliban? It's a terrible idea. They must assume that the Taliban send a scout out into the mountains of Kandahar, three o'clock in the afternoon. The scout looks down on the base from the mountains. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, there they are. Yeah, I see them. I'll be back with my rocket launcher. <laughs> Just leaves for a few hours, comes back later that night. Oh, here we go. they gone. <laughs> hey boys, they packed up and fucked off again. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I should have seen this coming. It's happened every night for the last nine and a half years. <laughs> Since I did that, uh, that first trip for the troops, I've had the opportunity to perform for the Australian SAS on their base in Western Australia. If you don't know much about the SAS, they're some of the world's most elite soldiers, yeah? So anytime I'm on the base there, they just treat me like a make-a-wish kid. <laughs> Like, that's how the elite talk to me. I'm serious. As soon as I walk in the gate, they're like, oh, g'day, buddy, hey? <laughs> g'day, you little legend. You all right? You want a photo with a helmet on? Yeah? Yeah, you do. And I do. I do want that photo. It'd be fucking sweet. It's going to get heaps of likes on Instagram. And I did a show on the SAS base at the start of last year. And afterwards, I met a man by the name of Mark Donaldson. Now, Mark Donaldson is the first Australian since the Vietnam War to win the Victoria Cross. It's the highest medal you can receive in the Australian military. He was awarded it for actions in 2008 in Afghanistan. The SAS convoy he was with got ambushed. And in the middle of the gunfight, he realised that an Afghani interpreter that was helping out the Australians had been shot and was left 70 metres behind the convoy. So with no regard for his safety or his life, he takes off under heavy gunfire, saves the interpreter, gets a Victoria Cross. So when I met him on the base, I said, sir, it's an honour to meet you. He said, Nick, don't worry about all that stuff, mate. I said, where are you going after this? And I said, well, Mark, I'm going to hang out on the base with you guys and girls tonight, have a few beers, and uh, at five o'clock tomorrow morning, I've got a flight from Perth to Melbourne, and then a connecting flight from Melbourne to Hobart. I've got a show in Hobart tomorrow night, and uh, Mark Donaldson, Victoria Cross winner, looked at me and said, 
Mate, you've got a flight at 5 a.m. Fuck, that's brutal. <laughs> Said, yeah, it is, and I'll grab some of those medals off you. Thanks, mate. True hero right here. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your night. I'm Nick Cody. See you later.